Okay, so here we are back at another demo test. Uh, I guess exactly the first demo test, really. Uh, you can see we finally got some zombies, some actual zombies uh, spawning in. And we also have some few changes. So, we take a look at our weapon. We have the weapon UI system. Now, if you're, you know, of course, this is a Left 4 Dead spiritual successor. So, I'll call it the Left 4 Dead 3, you know. Um, anyways, Left 4 Dead, they always had their weapon UI on the right side of the screen. And that was such a small feature, but it was very, like, important. You know, it's crucial. So, I definitely had to make sure I added that. Uh, plus, it was actually dynamic, so it actually updated if you change your weapon. So now that we have a shotgun weapon, if I was to go ahead and collect this shotgun, you can see the UI actually updates as well. Uh, and it'll be like that for all weapon types. We will have more weapon types in the future, but for now, we're just sticking to the assault rifle. And the... I mean, I guess it's not really a, an assault rifle. It's more just like a, like an F-19 or some shit. Um, I think that was the old Call of Duty main for it which is like a single shot m19 that's what it was called yep ah oh, so much so much memories anyways um not only do we have the zombies we actually have some updated hit animations and some sound effects so you know got some variety coming along let's go ahead and reload that now we're probably going to go up to around 10 i think we're already on round three we do have new zombie um we have a boss that will spawn on round four as well. Um, right now we're really just looking around, testing some things out, seeing where we're at so far. Really do enjoy that hit marker. That dynamic hit marker is a really nice add on. Um, you know, in case you're ever, you know, if I'm ever like this way and I'm in first person, like, oh, I'm getting hit. Why am I losing health? And then you just turn around. That's cool. I don't know, I just really like showing off the hit marker. <laughs> it took me so long to add it. <laughs> but here we are with the with the with the boss spawner. Um you can see he's a bit bigger than the rest. Well, he's a bit more menacing. He's kind of menacing looking low-key. I can't even deny. Okay. Okay, okay, let's go. Here we go. We got some zombies spawning all over the place. We're spawn camping at this point. But we're not afraid of nothing. And this dude is a big guy. He's a big strong guy. If I really get hit. See, I damn near die right there. So let's let's just keep moving. Okay. But we, we ain't got a lot right now. We're chilling. Plus he's not really gonna fare strong against my shotgun. Let's get this fellow straggler. Bruh. Okay, hold on. I'm looking stupid now. Okay, there we go. I'm actually running out of bullets, so that's kind of unfortunate. Damn! Big strong ass! Hold on now. Let's go ahead and vault over these meshes. Now, I don't remember what the max spawn was set to, but that'd be pretty hard. And of course we took him down. Now, it's still early, but we're definitely getting there. I mean, we have some nice functionality going around. We got some physics with these barrels, as well as the crates that they are literally flying. Um, got some just some dynamic changes. Like, this is actually, it's just coming along quite nicely. I do have ideas for how I'm going to set it up. That way it does uh, eventually turn to, like, a... the thing about Left 4 Dead, though, even though it was objective based, it was still just survival. Like the objective was to like get from one room to the next, uh, and then to escape. Like that's that's it. But it kept the theme of survival true. That way you never have to worry about any other bonus points or shit like that. Like how Back for Blood did it when it came to the car system. Personally, was not a fan of that. I'm not integrating that whatsoever. That's just never no no way. I don't like how. If you're gonna have to worry about, you know, buffs, you also gotta worry about nerfs as well. I don't think that's a cool feature to add in games. <laughs> Especially when you're talking about a survival game that just people just wanna they just wanna point and click and shoot some skulls off. Now you can see this weapon is actually very weak for this level. Um so I'm gonna have to stick okay. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. We're gonna cheat a little bit. Let's reload our shotgun properly. There we go. Now we're cheating a little bit. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, now we're ready. Oh, damn! Thirsty ass! Okay. I don't know where the big one went. It's kind of hard to identify. Oh, there you go. Okay. But yeah, this is where we're at so far. I mean, I said round 10, but honestly, I feel comfortable with just, you know. I haven't been able to mention everything that's been added because um, you know, I'm actually trying not to die, I've noticed. But yeah, in terms of just that Back for Blood, that was one of the worst features of the game. I'm not doing it. Uh, I don't want to mislead people. You may see points on my screen, but that's not. they're not going to be for that. They're, they're just going to be for very simple purchase uh, setup that you can kind of see when I like purchase a shotgun, you know. Nothing crazy, and you're not gonna have to worry about them at all. <laughs> like, you're not. So, I just want to make that clear in case some people get scared. They're like, oh no, he's going back and forth around. Like, no, no, we're not. Okay, well, hold on. Damn. Yo. Okay, this is kind of trippy. I'm glad I can jump still. But yeah, and I do like that vault mechanic, because like if they're like all right behind me, get them all behind me, then I can just jump across. That's like so perfect for if I'm ever going up against like a spitter or like a boomer and they like vomit and you could just like, you know, <laughs> jump over shit and dodge. Of course, actually the, the jump mechanic is saving my life right now. I would have been dead 10 times over if I didn't have that. Uh, of course, you won't get to have that, unfortunately. <laughs> but that's besides the point. But yeah, so I'm comfortable with that. This should be the idea. That's where we're at so far. Well, like I said, you know, we're coming along. We're actually doing this. Um, I'm gonna update this map soon. You know, it's kind of it's a little too simplistic for the development stages. I feel like we actually got some cool shit going on. A lot of functionality being implemented. Um, yeah. Well, here, let's see if I can actually survive. Okay. Hold on. Damn. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm so cheating right now. <laughs> Okay, no jump, no jump, no jump. Let me try not to actually jump. It's got a fucking reload, bro. Okay. I'm glad some of them are getting stuck and they're just standing there. Okay, there we go. We're good. I think we took down a big dude already. He's really the only threat because the other ones, they can't even really kill me. So we're good there. Yeah, so I feel good about this so far. Anyways, you know, there's a Discord if you'd like to join. Stay up to date. Um, other than that, you know, oh, this is a classic zombie. This is a classic blackout zombie thing. Hold on, we gotta get the final one. We gotta get the final one. There we go. Now we're just getting chased by the last one. Okay, but yeah, so this is where we're at, folks. Quick little 10 minute video. Hopefully, you know. It showed that, you know, this is actually a real thing in development. It's not just like, you know, some, some you know, cool idea with like no follow through. Like, no, we're getting there. <laughs> we are. Uh, we're not going to update the character ourselves for a minute, though, because I really want to focus on everything else because um, it just makes, you know, I'd rather focus on the actual functionality first and then just make it look good uh, rather than making, you know, scrap heat look nice, if that makes sense. Anyways, you know, if you have any questions or whatnot, definitely leave a comment. Um, and yeah, we're getting there.